What's up everybody on YouTube and welcome to another segment of my team, my top 10, my top 6. Anything that involves something involves a gameplay with Pokemon uh, Y, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, um, even uh, Sun and Moon. So this is a little segment I kind of got started a couple weeks ago and it's somewhat taken off, uh, somewhat hasn't, I'm just so new to the channel. A lot of people haven't just kind of gotten into it yet, and I don't really blame them. This is something normally we didn't do on the channel before. I normally did just pack openings, but don't worry, because at the end of this video, you have a surprise. So, this one is going to be my playthrough on Omega Ruby. Now, this team is the one I went all the way through with. I ended up selecting them. I actually had to do a couple of trades to get some to evolve. And these are the ones I beat the Elite Four with. And, I mean, this team has been amazing. This team dominated the Elite Four, except for the champion. And he was the hardest one because he ended up pulling his Mega Metagross. And that just about wiped my whole team out, except for my Blaziken. Blaziken was my number one team member. I, I, I've kind of really got stuck to Omega Ruby since Pokemon Ruby, the first gener the first games on Generation 3 came out. It stuck to me deeply. It was the funnest game I ever played. It was my first ever real playthrough on a Pokemon game from start to finish, and I picked Trico, not Trico, but Tuh, Torchic for my first one. Um, I got Trico on the brain right now because... I'm actually trying to trade somebody for a Trico. So if you want to trade, let me know your friend code and we can trade. But anyway, so Blaziken was my number one team member. Now his uh, moves were Brave Bird, Blaze Kick, Fire Blitz, and Sky Uppercut. Now I did get a Mega Stone for him. So I did use a Mega Stone when I had to go face Mega Metagross and that was I only used one full restore and I actually used it at the same time that the champion used his. So for my number two is Azuril. Now Azuril I needed somebody to do a lot of HM using and I hate the term HM slave. I really just rather not use it. But he was a big asset of the team. Now the reason why I picked Azuril for this is because his defense is widely known. His defense is amazing. Normally, even an electric type don't KO it on the first hit. It takes a couple times, normally two to three times a hit. But Azura was a very well known play team player and a Pokemon that I did not expect to dominate the first gym leader like it did, except especially against his cat uh cat turn. And against his shift tree. Azura took down both. So for the second one. Or the third one. Which is Bayonet. Bayonet. I've always been a creepy creepy Pokemon. And if you have seen some of the anime. It just. Was something. That was very freaky. Kind of like an old old Russian doll. I did have the Mega Stone for Bayonet. And you think it couldn't get any creepier. Go ahead and use the stone. It gets worse. So for the moves that I have for it was Will-O-Wisp, Sucker Punch, Phantom Force, and Shadow Ball. Now Phantom Force was an amazing move. It looked cool and it hit hard. It was one that I did use a lot during the Elite Four and got me out of a few sticky situations. Now, number four, Agron. Now, Aggron I didn't use when I played Ruby the first time. When I, when I played Ruby the first time a long, long time ago, I was not, not well equipped with the right team. I believe that my my first team was Blaziken, Meryl, Groudon, I think I had a Vibrava, and a Tentacruel. It was a horrible team. The only one that barely made it out of there was Groudon and Blaziken. And when it came down to the, I think the fourth Elite Four member, I just about didn't make it. So, 
Agron did come with a Mega Stone, and I did have Heavy Slam, Thunder, Iron Tail, and Earthquake. Heavy Slam, I really do like it because the whole point of it is the more that Agron weighs more, the more than the opponent, the harder the hit does damage. Amazing move. Normally, nine times out of ten, I KO any Pokemon, even if it is a higher level than Agron, which is a great move to have and essential, I believe. The number fifth one is Alakazam. Now, when I told you I had to do a little bit of trading to get a couple Pokemon, I actually did do some switching back and forth. Um, I did have an Onyx I did get from a Wonder Trade, and I ended up trading and getting a Steelix, but Steelix kind of got cut out. Simple because I already had an Agron planned out, so I really didn't want to use Steelix as much. Alakazam had Miracle Eye, Psychic, Psycho Cut, and Psybeam. Now, I know all of these are Psychic type moves. I don't know what pursued me to keep all Psychic type moves on him, but it it just it just ended up playing out that way. Now he did have a Mega Stone. Now for my final one is Groudon. When I caught Groudon the first, when I tried to catch Groudon the first time, I KO'd that thing quickly. Um, I believe I used a Mega Stone on Blaziken on the first round and used Sky Uppercut, which knocked it clean out. And I was very upset. I had to go ahead and do a soft restart and try it again. But I did not, I was not able to use Primal Groudon and I didn't figure out how to use it until after the Elite Four. I wish I would have had Primal Groudon. It would have been a lot easier. A whole lot easier. But Groudon did get knocked out by Metagross on the Elite Four champion, and I was very disappointed. But other than that, but his moves were Lava Pl Plume, Solar Beam, Earthquake, and the Precipitous Blades. I, that's a hard word to say. I, so, uh, I didn't get to tell you guys uh, the uh, levels for them. Blaziken was level 70, Azurl 71, Bayonet 69, Agron 69, Alakazam 73, and Groudon 69. Now again, just like I did on Pokemon Y, I did grind a lot. I did go back to some of the trainers you could rebattle and just kept on and kept on for hours on end because I didn't want to be in the situation to where I got to the, the champion, ended up losing because my team wasn't strong enough. And thank God that I did sit there and grind as much as I did because the champion knocked out every single one of my team members except for Blaziken. And that was already close enough. I believe I had maybe 10% HP by the time I knocked out his Metagross. And the only reason why I did was because I had a speed boost after using uh, Blaze Kick once. No, Fire Blitz once on him. So, that was very fortunate. Now, for the Legendaries I did catch, and that's one thing I am doing. I am trying to catch as many Legendaries as I can. So, here's a list I've already started. So, you know I caught Groudon. You get Latios to use the Eon Flute. I caught Heatran by mistake. I stumbled upon the cave over there by, uh, between Solace and Fortress uh, City. And it was a little bitty island right in the middle. And I was actually looking for Registeel. And I couldn't find the cave that they were talking about. Apparently the cave is all the way on the west side of the forest. Not on the east side. So I was on the east side and I stumbled across this one was a little bit aggravating. He didn't want to stay in the Pokeball. I mean, it was... I had his HP down to 10% and actually had him um, asleep a couple of times using Relicanth and using Yawn. But this one was very challenging. Uh, I did catch Deoxys in the little story mode with when you catch Rayquaza. I did catch Rayquaza fairly easy. Um, the first time I used a... Uh, Ultra Ball, I knocked his HP down to maybe down to 25%. Threw it the first time and caught it on the first girl. I was very, very lucky. I believe it's a lot easier to catch Pokemon now than it used to be on the regular Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald version. I don't know why, but it just is. A lot of them just stay in there. Um, the next one was Regigas. I went ahead and caught Registeel, Regirock, and Regi Ice, and did not know that you got to nickname your Regi Ice, either get a Snowball 
or never melt ice. And then you have to go back to the to the cave that you caught Reggie Ice. And then you go up to there and you will hear Regigas scream and he will appear. So Regigas wasn't too much of a challenge. I think the most of the trio was, I believe Reggie Ice was the hardest one to catch. But um, the nickname I did give Reggie because it's one thing you got to do. You got to nickname Reggie Ice to catch Reggie still. And I think I named him Icy Hot. Because it was really pissing me off while trying to catch this thing. And it was just icy, you know, ice-type Pokemon. So, um, again, I did read off of my book everything that I wrote down. So, this is just so I can keep up with everything. And, you know, that way I can talk to you guys and kind of give you a heads up on what, what's going on with my playthroughs. Now, um, I did want to go ahead and give you all a certain surprise. Remember, guys... I do have a bunch of codes, a whole bunch of codes for Omega Ruby. I mean, yeah, not Omega Ruby. Um, Alpha, not Alpha Sapphire. I am so stuck on this game right now; it's ridiculous. But if you're playing Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon, trust me, guys. These codes right here, I have a bunch of them. Just hit that like button. And go down there to the comments below. Tell me that you need a code, and I'll get you a code as soon as possible now if i'm at work i will have to wait a couple hours later until i can get home to give you the codes but i will do that also i do have the other codes the little smaller codes where you have the mystical the new mystical pokemon and also the you get shiny as well so and if you end up needing more than one code let me know it's not just one per person if you need three four five codes let me know i will give them to you now the little surprise I haven't been able to do the pack openings simply because, and I'm going to tell you guys the truth, Christmas is around the corner, and everybody knows that Christmas is a very hard time of the year. And I don't want any sympathy, and I don't want anybody to fully forgive me for what's going on, but at the same time, I kind of hope you understand, simply because Christmas is a very, very, very stressful time, and, you know, I'm trying to, my work's slowing down, I'm trying to get as many hours as I can. Simply just to keep the roof over our heads. Now, I've had a couple of people reach out to me that know me on Facebook. They ended up messaging me asking if everything was okay, if there's anything they can do to help. The only thing I need from everybody is just your understand support. And if you could, you know, just stay a part of the channel for me. And I promise you, I won't let you down. But coming up next month, we are going to be hitting them pack openings left and right. We're going to be giving codes away every single week i'm gonna try to do it two three times a week if finances allow remember the channel is on a budget simply because the channel did lose two of the sponsors because of the end of the year some of the sponsors actually i had to fold and go ahead and cut ties and relationships and i i totally understand no hard feelings but because i didn't able to do a pack opening today i did want to give y'all guys something and i did want to give y'all guys some codes just for a don't don't run away from the president so guys here's your first code but i really do hope you understand and i really do hope that you know you do forgive me this time right now and it's just really hard um even the editor right now he he's constantly working he's trying to get things worked out with his family in the holiday season and the fact of that you know, we're, we're both, right now, our hands are tied with everything. And I'm actually wearing a shirt of his. He's a big 49ers fan. And I figured I'd go ahead and just wear it for him. Kind of appreciation thing. And, uh... But, I believe these codes... All these codes are Dragon Majesty. Because I did do a lot of pack openings with this. Let me see if I can get it to focus. But, as you can see as well, I am growing out my beard, my hair. I don't plan on getting a haircut or shaving for a while. Simply because if you live in Georgia like I do, it is very cold. Very, very cold. So, um, I'm trying to stay warm the best way I can. But uh, again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is something I really like to do to take off at least do it once a week. 
you know, or twice a month, you know, whichever one that I don't want to flood up your feed with stuff that you don't really want to watch. So let me know down in the comments below. What do you think about this video? Hit that like button if you like this video. Hit the dislike button if you do not like this video. And let me know down in the comments below what I can do to make it better. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out the other channel, Collectors of Pokemon. That one right there, that will show you my biggest mistake on Omega Ruby that I've ever made with a shiny Pokemon. I'm still so pissed off at myself. I can't believe I just did that. But again, guys, thank you so much. And I hope you're having a wonderful week. I'll speak with you again soon.